Let us play! Hello everyone and welcome back to another segment of the new Let's Play Team Fortress 2. And in this segment, I'm going to introduce you to this nice handsome rogue who is a master of the espionage. This here is the spy class. So, equipped with them is a disguise kit, a knife, and a method of cloaking. This here guy is able to go and sneak behind enemy lines and do his most signature move, which is the backstab, an insta-kill move. And who are you? Okay, you're a normal one. So yeah, just what I would explain right there, the general rule of thumb is to go ahead and uh, go behind... Okay, at least I was able to kill him pretty quickly. Fire, fire, fire! I was quite lucky with that power encounter. And, uh, oh, oh, uh, I'm sorry, Scout. I should have known. Yeah, he got caught in the flames as well. I should have let him have it. I, I at least would have lived. I'm moving this. So anyway, general rule of thumb is that you need to, you know, disguise the enemy team, get behind them. And then go ahead and pick your targets. So right now I see the engineer here. And I'm trying to get into a nice position where I can easily get him. Okay, good. I didn't freak out or something like that. There we go. Alright, so I'm guessing he was like a little too preoccupied with that. So I was able to take care of that. Although his engineer friend was able to pick up the slack on that part shit. I failed to apply a disguise. But he ended up killing himself for that. No sentry, he says. <laughs> let's see, let's see how this other spy does it. Yeah, he sees them. He just slowly steps in and steps out, whatever. Yeah. But it's all about choosing your uh, targets very carefully and having to observe that the enemy's, like, you know, reactions, like, how, okay, how well you can do as a spy is all based upon, like, how well, like, what the enemy team is like. Like, how good is their spy awareness? How good can they handle against a spy? You know, like, having to check their bags uh, so often. What kind of items do they have to, like, potentially reveal you? All that stuff you need to take into account in order to be effective, because, like, if you're mostly going up against a team that's, like, fairly new, you'll have an easy time. But if you're up against a bunch of veteran players, then you're going to have a very, very hard time. So with that in mind, you're going to have to remember, like, you know, who do I kill first? Like, who is the most threatening? There's a lot of stuff you need to prioritize to make sure that the enemy team, like, whittles down with what they have. Hmm. Alright. So they already see me as an engineer, so let me go ahead and be as a Alert. sniper. The control point is being contested. Hmm. So there's double engineers. I can't really go after them because if I try to go after one, then, you know, the sentries will go after me or something. So let me instead let me try to help push the team up a bit. God damn it. That spy ruined it. And yet he still still how managed to get a stab in that. And he was the one that got me killed. I'm I'm uh But yeah. So yeah, you can do something more than just a simple backstab than just to walk up to their back and all that stuff. There's several different types of like backstab uh, techniques, but we'll get into that in a moment. So yeah, let me get right down to items here. So starting off right here is the revolver. Oh, nice. So revolver? Don't knock it until you try it, because it's actually a very, a fairly active, uh, uh, accurate weapon. And can do a fair bit of damage. Just enough so that you'll be able to work in, like, self-defense, as well as to, like, finish off, like, weakened targets. Although, don't use that as a flat-out, like, offensive weapon, like what I was doing right there. Like, I had no other choice. I had to give, like, suppressive fire. All 
All right, things seems to be going okay right now. Okay, I see some stuff going on that side. Jeez, dude. Like, relax. I'm one of you. I'm one of your kind. Move the gear up, lads. I don't know how well this is going to work. Probably very poorly. Well, here, let me just go ahead and get some more cloak. Because I did see a sentry over there on that side. Alright, much better. Actually, no, they actually welded it down. Kind of surprised here, actually. Well, a devil man was doing a pretty good job, though. So there's that, at least. Ah, oh, couldn't reach it. Alright, let me see about getting roughly about the front line. Ah, well, I killed the pyro anyway. <laughs> it's satisfying as a spy when I just go ahead and just flat out shoot the pyro dead. After when he revealed me. So yeah, the revolver was just enough to just go ahead and will down the, the uh, pyro's health. And, you know, it's kind of daunting at first when you start playing out the class and you try to shoot with this thing. You might say, like, oh, I can't land a shot at all or something like that. It's kind of the same case with, like, the SMG with the sniper. Like, what reason why, why can't I, like, land a hit or anything? You know, it just comes down to practice, understanding, like, the weapon spread and all that. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and try to predict where this guy's gonna go. Uh-oh. No, I'm guessing you're gonna go over here. <laughs> or I just act like a fool and you just go after me like that. Okay, enough about the revolver. Um, so you got yourself the Electro Sapper. This is your tool for going up against uh, the engineer's buildings. Having to disable them and then slowly whittle away its health away. And then kaboom, it's dead. Although, keep in mind that the Engineer is capable of, like, removing the Sapper with the use of his melee. And the Pyro also has a couple of weapons, such as the, uh, Home Wrecker and Neon Annihilator, in order to remove the Sapper as well. Which can be annoying. Yeah, I'm not going close quarters this time. Well, I almost got him. But I was able to determine like how much health that the enemy has. That's the, something that's very nice about the spies. You can't see the enemy's health. So you can determine whether or not you want to engage somebody or not. Okay, so we got a spy scout up there. He's pretty much like not doing stuff. There we go. Up. Alert. The control point is being contested. Okay, a little bit preoccupied. So anyway, that's your sapper here and uh, all that good stuff. Uh, nothing much to say about the knife. Uh, I mean, you know what it does. It's capable of backstabbing stuff. What, what the hell? I'm not sure what that was all about. However, if you choose to decide to like actually melee somebody like in the front, um, it does like little petty damage. So that's why whenever you do a fail stab, you have to switch to your revolver because it'll do more better damage output. Okay, that was hilarious, I gotta admit. So yeah, I have mentioned earlier about like how the spy has like different like backstab techniques. There's like things such as like like stair stabs, quick stabs, or drop stabs, corner, matador, understab, or strafe and snap, all that complicated stuff. Pretty much half of it you don't need to know like off the bat. But things such as like, you know, at least like getting them from like an elevated position can definitely work out. Well, that didn't work. Jesus Christ. Hey, nothing can stop that demo, apparently. Well, now I have to defend this point. I'm actually having pretty decent aim right now. <laughs> I 
Again, he lost track of me. I can't help it. That's just hilarious. All right, let me go ahead and stay cooped up here a little bit because I'm seeing a fairly big traffic of enemies like around this way. All right. Um, let's see, we're gonna find a crate here. Well, I can't find anything. Fortunately, nobody's around here. The control point is being captured. All right, I need to go ahead and move around again because that soldier's after me. I was debating whether or not to take that, because I could have bumped into him. You know, a lot of the little decision making that you have to do is like, is it safe to do this, safe to do that, you know? Anything that you can do to like, get in and out of situations. A lot of the little things. Alright, so the other, other, uh... Item that I have is your invis watch. This is pretty much the most flexible watch that you can ever use to, uh, you know, do a lot of, like, uh, do most of your job. It's fairly easy to go ahead and, like, uh, pick up ammo stuff, because that's what you use to, you know, replenish your cloak. Like, ammo boxes, dropped weapons, uh, sentry pieces, and dispensers, all that good stuff. Need to help him a little bit to cap it, apparently. Alright. I'm gonna go ahead and give a bit of cover fire. Until team arrives. Well, as much as I can. Okay, I'm trying to do a little bit of mind trickery with that spy, because I know he's around here. Where is he? Oh, well, I don't know. <laughs> Definitely fooled me. Uh oh. Here, well, let's change up to something that's more fitting. All right, there we go. Jeez, the frickin' like spies here. We have like too many spies, that's the problem. Thank you, Demo. Okay, so I was trying to like, get into this mindset of actually being the enemy right there. I was trying to react to like my own teammate and try to avoid his shots, so that was believable. That's another thing you have to keep in mind when playing a spy is to basically act. I mean, that's just what I did right there. Because most of the players won't won't buy your disguise. However, there's like a couple of things to keep in mind, such as try your best not to look directly at the enemy's eyes. Because if you do that, then that's a typical like you know uh, enemy thing to do is just look at enemy's eyes like that. <laughs> yeah, I'm a I'm a fucking idiot. I don't know, I'm going all wishy-washy about all the stuff here, but yeah, really, the Invis Watch is pretty much your go-to stuff here. I mean, it's like nine seconds of like effective cloak time. Oh, God damn it! There's like a pyro. Spy pyro. Man, wasn't that that guy that was like Demo Knight earlier? Now he decides to go spy and try to teach me a lesson or something. I don't know. <laughs> Why do I always keep assuming things? Or guessing things? Or everything else in between? Uh-oh. Okay, Gibba Scout is none the wiser. <laughs> Ow. But yeah, that's enough about that. Uh, let's actually get down to the other stuff here. Um, Alright, let's take a look at the Ambassador. Alright, so the Ambassador... Ambassador is a really nice sidearm that the, uh, spy got here. I might have said, like, in the previous LP that, uh, you know... You know, if you can land your headshots, or... I don't know why I referenced it to the previous one. Uh, like I said, like... If, you're, if you can land your headshots, it's good, but... 
Otherwise, it's just a crappy version of the revolver due to the fact that it's less damage and less fire speed or something like that. But dear God, do practice with this and take advantage of it. I mean, it could be your go-to, like, primary for, for most games. Although you do have to, you know, make your shots count, of course. I was hoping I wanted to go ahead and try and do a demonstration. But I don't see anything yet. Okay, I see a medic. Scout. Don't do that, please. Up. Oh, nice reflect. Ooh. Now let me try to loop around and try to get to them. Oh, actually, no, they actually took care of him. I'm gonna go ahead and help Cap. And there's a headshot. Anyway, I was about to explain the ambassador here. So, you have to go ahead and try to aim at the head. It does a full crit. Uh, 102 damage. There is a bit of a cooldown. You have to wait about approximately like one second. You have, to be, you have to wait about one second for the cooldown to, to finish, and then you can go ahead and shoot again. Otherwise, it's just going to be inaccurate all the time, so... Once you get into the rim of it, you'll be able to, like, you know, make like, good headshots. And, of course, aim, uh, practice, and all that good stuff. You can go right. to town with this. The and the ability to... And, and to give the ability to the, the spy to have headshots really expands, like, how much that the spy can, like, go and assassinate his targets in certain ways, like... If you feel like, you know, that there's an engineer that's well guarded by, like, a pyro and such, and you have no way of killing him, that's what this is for. Alright, uh, let's go back a little bit further away. Would have gotten, like, the uh, health pack that's over way back there. Uh, now I don't know where I can find another health pack. Having an idea where all like the uh, ammo is and all that good stuff will help, just you know to help recharge your thing. That happened. Now see, can we go ahead and headshot a little bit more here? Anyways, if you probably noticed that, like, you know, my weapon's not showing on all that stuff, that's part of the script that I mentioned in the intro video before. Is that every time it shoots, it hides. Because, you know, to hide the pesky, like, in-your-face, like, reload animation. It was for that reason. Alright. I guess I'll take that. Well, that bought some time. And there was another backstab method, uh, doing a quick stab or something. Quick turnaround, or whatever it's called. Damn it, he just got away with it. One second late demo! God. But yeah, Ambassador, I say definitely roll with it, definitely try it out. It gives another, like, room to expand on and what the spy can do to take care of targets and all that good stuff.